Let's take a look at this problem. We got 25x squared minus 15x plus 2, and I want to factor it. Now, first off, I'd like to see if they have a GCF, and they don't. Um, it's not grouping because I'd have to have four more terms. Uh, it's not PST because we got a number in front of our x squared. It's actually a key number. Key number is when you have an x squared, x, no x, and there's a number in front of your x squared. Now we're going to take our number at the beginning times the number at the end, ignoring signs. 25 times 2 gives us 50. Then we'll come up with our three columns. In the P column, we'll list all products give us 50. We've got 1 times 50, 2 times 25, 3, no, 4, no, 5 times 10. In the S column, we add those two, two numbers together. 1 plus 50 is 51, 2 plus 25 is 27, 5 plus 10 is 15. In the difference column, we subtract the smaller from larger. 50 minus 1 is 49, 25 minus 2 is 23, 10 minus 5 is 5. Now, the number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 15, which is right here. So we're going to use 5 and 10. And what we do is we rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is the 10, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which was negative. So we're going to have negative 10x. Now remember our circles uh, in the S column, S for same signs, are either both going to be positive or both be negative. Since we said the 10 was negative, then the 5 has to be negative. So they're same signs. And then I'll factor by grouping. Group the first two terms together, group the last two terms together. Now the first two terms have a uh, 5 and an x in common, and that gives us 5x minus 2. Second group has nothing in common, but my first term is negative, so I'll factor out a negative 1, and that leaves us 5x minus 2. Well, our goal was to get these parentheses the same, which they are, so I'll factor out the 5x minus 2 out in front. And that's going to leave us 5x minus 1. You can cross out these 5x minus 2s to see what goes in your second set of parentheses. And that's your answer.